see what you can do. Come back here! since I put on the uniform. Make sure she... I should have rubber-stamped execution paperwork around the clock. So many snakes. There's no place for monsters like you in my empire.
Ah, we've got two. Let's see. What was it? Bad move! history warp as words pass from the lips of one to the ears of another imperfectly formed half understood poorly remembered in the years to come the story of the crown killer will be twisted and bent hammered like soft metal by some accounts a monster that had to be put down by others a victim of treachery, preserved, because in the end, you found another way. But you'll always remember the truth, won't you? Your truth, at least. Once that watchtower is down, Megan can pick me up. No! Mercy! <gasps>
follow. this place yet. I don't like it. Ready now? Yes. Let's get back to the ship. You didn't find Sokolov. No. But I killed Hypatia. You what? She was the crown killer. The Duke tricked her into injecting herself with a flawed version of her serum. It changed her. She wasn't even aware of it. Crazy. What about Anton? I gave him to a man named Kieran Jindosh. Do you know who that is? Everybody knows him. The grand inventor of Sirkonos. Then who's next? In his day, Sokolov was Dunwall's genius. His inventions transformed the city. I watched from the tower as they changed the capital into a prison, and listened as he drank and laughed, telling my mother time and again how brilliant he was. After her death, Sokolov's inventions helped a tyrant take control of the Empire. Now, all these years later, Kieran Jindosh is Karnaka's genius. The mad inventor who's given the Duke sinister machines that move like people but aren't. Clockwork soldiers that fight and kill. I've got to find out where Sokolov's being held and bring the old man back alive. Rescue one genius and kill the other before he creates an army of clockwork soldiers. <laughs> 